Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Syed. In today's episode, we will see how to do conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is something that will allow you to highlight cells based on the value inside. For example, if I would like to see cells contain admin department, I will simply click on E, then go to conditional formatting, highlight cells, then select text value that contains admin. So it will highlight all the cells wherever the word admin appears. So there is only one cell, so that is highlighted. Let me cancel this out because that's not my intention. I would like to highlight the entire row based on a value from a particular cell. How do I do it? Let's take a close look. In order to follow along with me, make sure you have a copy of this file downloaded using the link in the video description. There are six worksheets in this workbook. Every sheet is named based on the type of conditional filter we are going to apply on that. Let's begin. In order to start, I will go to the text sheet. There, I would like to highlight all the cells wherever the country name is Brazil. For that, I would highlight all these cells using my mouse. Then I will click on conditional formatting. Then I will click on new rule. In this new rule formatting dialog, I will select use formula to determine which rows to format. The trick here is to lock the column name. Irrespective of what column we are analyzing data in the selection range, we always need to make sure to check the value inside the column G and column G should be locked but the reference to the cells should be relative for example i will go ahead type in equal to type in the dollar sign against the name of the column then type in the name of the column then the number one the number series for that column should be relative so here only the column letter should be absolute so that's a kind of uh, mixed reference. Then what I need is equal to, if it is equal to Brazil. So I'm going to give that in double quotations. Close the double quote. What do I want the format to look like if the value is Brazil? I need to click on format button for that. Once I do that, format cells window will appear. In this, I will go to fill, then select a blue color shade. You may select your own. Then I will come back to font tab and change the font color to white. So my format will look like a blue background with a white font color on it. I click OK, then I click OK again. There we go. Any cell, wherever the word Brazil appears, will get highlighted. This is how the text formatting works. In case you decide to change it from Brazil to something else, you can simply click on conditional formatting again, then click on manage rules. You will see this is the condition that's currently running on this range. So what you need to do is edit rule. Then instead of Brazil, say I want it to be Armenia. So what I do is get rid of that one in double quotes. I will type in Armenia, close the double quote and click OK and click OK again. There we go. Highlighting is now on Armenia. Now let us take a look on how to highlight cells based on the number value. Let us go to number sheet. Here I will again highlight the entire set of data. Then click on conditional formatting. Go to new rule. Here I will select use formula to determine which cells to format. I would like to highlight all the rows wherever the value is greater than 5000 5000 in the sales so what i would do is it's against the same trick equal to dollar sign column letter that is i then the number one is greater than 5000 then what do i need to format it i will go to fill handle and i want it to appear with a green background and let the text be black no problem i just click ok click ok again look what it did it also highlighted the headers of the data. That shouldn't happen. In case if this happens to you, how do you fix it? You go back to conditional formatting, click on manage rules, select the conditional formatting rule. There type in A2. That's the reference from A2 to what cell. I need it to go up to I30. Now I click OK. There you go. Now we fixed it. It's not highlighting my headers anymore, but it is applying the condition anywhere, wherever the value is more than 5000. That's how we do conditional formatting based on numbers. Now let's take a look on how to highlight cells based on date. To highlight cells based on date, we need to ensure that we have a date column. I would like to highlight any cells, any rows 
wherever the date is greater than 2015. For that, I would simply select in the entire data set. My date values are in column F. With that in hand, I'll go to conditional formatting menu, click on new rules, then select the new formula to determine which cells to format. And in here, I will type in equal to year of. That's the value I actually need. This is the formula that will fetch the year value from that date value. So what is the year value of dollar sign? Don't forget to list that dollar sign in front of your column name. Then F1, this date value, if it is greater than 2015, highlight the entire row wherever the column value is greater than 2015. So here we go. Click on format, select any desired formatting. I want the font color to be white. I go to white and I click OK. Then I click OK. There you go any cell wherever the values are greater than 2015 those cells are highlighted here that's how we use the date to highlight this entire row based on conditional formatting now let's take a look at how do we do it with multiple conditions i would like to highlight the entire row based on the values from two columns that is if the country value is brazil and the region is south how do I do it? Let's take a close look. I select the entire data set. Then I go to conditional formatting, click on new rule. Here I select use a formula to determine which cells to format. Then type in equal to an open and function, open bracket. Now I would like to check the column G. So for that, I will type in dollar column G one is equal to Brazil comma it should be Brazil and it should be North or South or any region, whichever you would like to test. So let me start with dollar, then the column H, that's where my region information is. Number one is equal to, say for example, I want to go with the South region. Close the double quotes, close the bracket. This is what I really like to check. Now I want to format if these both conditions meet and I would like it to go with the yellow color. Okay. Okay, there you go. There is one cell that is highlighted where Brazil and South is the combination. Say for example, if I just change this to North to South, there you go. This is how we highlight the entire cell based on the values from two cells. It should be Brazil and it should be South. What if I want to go with optional values? For example, whether it is Brazil or whether it is South, it doesn't matter. It should be highlighted. For that, I will use OR function but not the function and. Let me go to conditional formatting again, click on manage rules, select this function and edit this one. Instead of and, I will type in or. What happens is if the cell value is Brazil, the entire thing is highlighted. If the cell value in region column is south, its entire thing is highlighted. If both are true, again, the entire thing is highlighted. Let's take a close look. Let's click OK. OK again. There you go. Here it's Brazil. It's highlighted. Here it's South. It's highlighted. South highlighted. Brazil highlighted. So that's how it works. If you want both the conditions to meet, use the AND function. If you want either one of the conditions to meet, use the OR function. Here we can use the multiple conditions to format the cells, format the rows based on the values of different cells. Now let's take a close look on how to highlight rows in different colors based on multiple conditions. Let's take a close look. Here we go. In this sheet, I will select all the cells. Then I will go to conditional formatting then select new rule. Here what I want is I would like to highlight all the cells wherever the sales are greater than 7000. So equal to dollar sign I1 type in greater than 7000 and I want it to be formatted to say green. Okay. Okay. Again, again, look at what happened. It is highlighting my headers. I don't want that to happen. To fix that, I go back to conditional formatting, click on manage rules, select this one. This time I'm not going to type the reference. I will simply click on this handle, then select my references from this range. So this is the data it should be focusing on. Click the handle again and click OK. There you go. All the cells wherever the values are greater than 7000 are green now. Now I want to apply the second condition. That is if the value is greater than 5000 but less than 7000, it should go to orange color. How do I do it? I select the same set cells. 
Now I click on conditional format and go to new rules, select use formula to determine which cells to format and type in equal to then the column letter that is column I and the cell number greater than if it is greater than 5000. I want it to be formatted with the orange background. That's the one I want. I click OK and I click OK again. But there is something wrong here. It's not happening the way I want it to happen. So I go back to conditional formatting menu again. Click on manage rules. To fix this thing what I would do is I will select this one and I push this down. This is the order we want it to go in. And here I want it to be applied on this range. Here we go. I change the range. I click on apply. There you go. Click OK. So what is happening? Please remember the order has to be in proper alignment. So the first rule here you see if I go back to conditional formatting manage rules you see the first rule is highlight all the cells wherever the value is greater than 7000. Then if it is greater than 7000 it's green but what if the value is not greater than 7000 they are anyways not formatted. So what I am trying here is I am trying the second condition if the value is greater than 5000 highlight it with orange. That's the condition, second condition I want. So the first condition executed is this one. Once this is done, the data is left. Then the second condition is applied. Whatever the order you put these conditions in, it will be executed in the similar order. Ensure that your conditions are in proper alignment. Then click OK. There you go. Now finally, we are left with one thing that is highlight the cells wherever the cell values is blank. How do we do it? I select the entire set, click on conditional formatting, new rule. Now I want to ensure that no department name is left blank. I go here, type in equal to dollar sign to freeze the column name, the column letter, then the number is equal to blank. And I want it to be formatted with say orange. All the cells wherever the cell value for department is blank. Click OK. Since I don't have any department blank, no cell is highlighted. But see here, if I just get rid of this one, the entire cell is blank. Get rid of this one, boo, boo. So that's how it works. I hope it was clear to you. If you find it difficult, do not hesitate to write a comment in the section below and I'll be more than happy to help you with your queries. If you haven't already, ensure to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell icon to enable notifications for new updates. Thank you so much for taking time. Stay happy, stay lovely. Until next time.